Hello everyone, welcome to Coder Sparkler. I'm Lila. Today I will show you a new uh, mobile app, name is Pets eShopping. So the features I want to talk uh, in today's demo, one is the um, my eShopping card. The second one is the uh, forgot and reset password system. Um, I use the node mailer here. Um, already, uh, uh, this is the welcome, welcome uh, screen. So we have a sign in and a sign up link here. If you click the sign up, they will uh, navigate us to the sign up page. Um, we can submit the username, uh, email, password here. And we can click the bottom, the login. Um, I already signed up with uh, sign up an account with my real email address. So I click the, the login, uh, navigate to the login page. So in the login page, we can log in with our username and the password. If you forgot your password, you can reset your password by click, uh, clicking the uh, forgotten password link. So for example here, if I click the forgotten pass you, uh, password link, will link us to uh, the uh, forgot password um, uh, uh, screen. From this screen, we can uh, type in our uh, registered email address here, and then we will receive our reset password link um, uh, in our uh, mailbox. So uh, now I will uh, type in my uh, email address here and then send out the link. After I enter my uh, email address and uh, click the send button, I get alert telling me that uh, there is a password reset password email sent to me and also there's only 24 hours uh, for this uh, email link to be active. I will click OK here and log into my email address and uh, uh, check the link and then go back to this, uh, come back to this. Uh. Now I'm in my mailbox, so you can see the template of the uh, reset password link here. Um, uh, we can see uh, who sent the email to us and the, the body, like um, the, uh, the, bod uh, the body of the mail, what you want to say to the customer or the user, and also the link here. I made another bigger linker on the bottom to let you see. So there, um, in the end of the link, there's a token. So we can, make, uh, we can make sure this is the right person to use the link to reset the password. Okay, now I'll click the link um, to uh, log in back to, our, um, to, the, to the app on the same phone. I'll click the link. And it's, uh, ask us if we want to use the ASPO to open uh, this um, app. I will choose open. And then, then we log, uh, log in back to our app to the reset, uh, reset password uh, screen. We can reset our password here. So for example, I can change to one, two, three, and then re retype the new password, and then uh, click the, the submit button, and then tell us, the, um, tell us that a link has, uh, the, the password has been uh, successfully reset and uh, automatically uh, navigate us back to the sign-in page. We should use the um, use our email address here and the new reset password here to log in to our um, to, uh, to to the app to our account. So basically, the main screen on the top there is a burger icon. A left is burger icon, and also the right is the uh, home sign. So the burger icon, if we click, we can open the drawer navigator. Also, you can on the iPhone, you can use the uh, gesture, use your finger. Um, uh, swipe the phone from the left to right. You can also open this um, drawer navigator. You can navigate to the place you want. And the home button here is because if we navigate to the other place, we can use the home button to uh, navigate back to, uh, uh, navigate back to the main screen. Um, I have four uh, four uh, categories here. I use four uh, different color themes for them. Uh, let's log in to uh, check them. So for the aquarium, this is the blue color, and let's go back. And the bird, bird is a little bit, little bit yellowish, and the the, the fluffy is a, a orange color, and the green for the reptile have different colors. And um, we also have like the uh, user's uh, thumbnail and username show up. And uh, there's uh, in the top right we have the profile icon and the shopping cart icon. If we click the profile icon, we can go to um, the user's profile. So users can click the pen here, 
the the green pen here to change the to change their um profiles here. So the also they can change the thumbnail. Thumbnail they can use either use the pen here to choose from your uh for from your phone, um phone's photos. Also you can uh use the camera to take another um, uh, another photo, and change your own uh, your old uh thumbnail. From here, I will cancel from here. I won't change that, uh, change anything. I will click the home button on the um, top right. Go back to the uh, main screen. Um, so here, um, uh, let's um, check the click the the, the shopping cart on, on the top right. So if we click, we can navigate to the shopping cart, but not because the shopping cart is empty. So nothing here. So if you click the shopping here, we can go back to the uh, main screen. So uh, here. I'll click and put something um, on our shopping cart. So all the cars, uh, all the uh, cars here for the um, for different pets. If we click, then we'll open the uh, uh, carousel for those uh, animals. Uh, for the carousel, they have the they have the pictures, the price, and then the descriptions. Descriptions you can scroll. It's a scribble, and also how ma how many left in stock, and the right uh, money color um, money icon will. Um, uh, take us back to the shopping cart to process the payment. And the right shopping cart, um, if we click this one, we'll add this pad to our shopping cart. So for example, if I click this one and the pop up, tell me that this pad uh, has been added to the shopping cart. So if I click once one more time, then it will tell me the pad is already in our shopping cart. We cannot add any more. So we cannot add duplicate pads in our shopping cart. And also, we can use uh, all the um, card for the pass. We can uh, we can uh, uh, we can um, swipe them like this. Uh, this and uh, also we can click the uh, top right corner the um, back button. We can go back to the main page for the birds. We already add the birds to the shopping cart. Then let's go to the fluffy to add one more to add a dog to our shopping cart. So. Because we have lots of dogs in the uh, um, in stock, so the the um, um, here the color is green. So if I click, I add a uh, dog to my shopping cart. If I go back, I want to add another one, alpaca. So we have like six alpaca left in our uh, in our in stock. So if you click add, and tell us add. If we can use the finger to find another one. So for example, if I choose the bunny here, so let's. Click the 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 dollar the the sign uh, the money sign icon here, and then go to our shopping cart. So we can see we have uh we had a pass added to the shopping cart, and we can see the alpacs number changed here changed to five. Uh, means every time we put we put um every time we put um pass in our shopping cart, then we reserve one for this pet, and the total amount uh total total number of this pass will be uh subtract one. And then uh, we can we can change the numbers of the pets we want. For example, the uh, this bird on the top only two left in, two left in stock. If we want other five, change this number to five, and then this alert is gonna tell us there are not enough birds. This kind of birds for us in stock. So we can check back on uh, later. And uh, if we uh, for for so for example the alpaca, we have like five left. So if we want to order three. And then click return. Then uh, the number we want is three, and there are only three left. So three alpaca left in in stock now. So it means three uh, alpaca has been reserved for us. And if we change the number, only three left. If we change number to seven, like one, if this number is bigger than whatever left in stock, if we click OK, then this uh, number is gonna be go back to three. And. Uh, we can use the uh, right, uh, the the left, uh, right cross um, cross button uh, cross icon to delete the path we don't want, and also uh, uh, we can change the we can change the number uh, uh, the the quantity here. If you change the number to zero, means we don't want this any uh, we don't want this path anymore. So this path also going to be removed from our shopping cart, and uh, uh, the and the no matter we add. Or modify the number, or modify the quantity, or uh, remove the pass from the shopping cart. The subtotal on the bottom bottom will be uh, changed the same time. So, for example, if we change alpaca's number to one, and then return, see the subtotal number. 
uh, will be changed. Now let's go ahead and uh, check in the pass out. So if we click the checkout, and then we'll go to the uh, address uh, address screen. So if we we have already have uh, have set our default address, so you can just click here. Um, but we don't have any uh, default address set yet, so we'll um. Copy And then we can uh, set this uh, as our uh, default address and uh, send uh, and the feedback to us that this has been successfully set to our uh, address. And next time we just use the default address. We do not need to uh, set this address um, anymore. So we can click continue. Then we'll go to the order summary page. Told us the uh, the total amount, uh, the uh, subtotal amount, the tax we have to add, the shipping and handling fee we have to add, and this on the bottom is the is the total amount we need to pay. So we click pay here. Will navigate us to the credit card page. So I use uh, use Stripe to uh, for the payments here, and um, I use the card um, the Stripe provided the card number. Let's uh, drop down the drop down selecting list and the ear. Yeah, and we turn back. And if I click pay, so after success successfully pay the um, pay the um, shopping card, then uh, there is only one button for us to navi navigate us to the shopping cart. We cannot go back to uh, modify any um, any settings like the address or anything. So we click the shopping. So if we go back to our, click the shopping cart, go back to our shopping cart. Now, because our shopping cart has been successfully paid, now it's, a, uh, uh, it's order is a pending order. Mm, so if we want to shop again, we will, uh, we will make another, we will make a new shopping cart. And uh, uh, let's do that one more time. The shopping, and let's go to the, uh, buy a jellyfish here. So in stock, put a jellyfish here, okay. Let's find one more fish here. Yeah, okay. Um, now let's find uh, some uh, snake here. Snake. Yeah. Oh, this snake is out of stock. So we'll find one. Oh, this train frog here. Okay. Let's go to our shopping cart. See the we just uh, we just uh, uh, bought these three pets. So you can uh, go ahead and check out. And we can use the default address, and the address is gonna pop up. And then we go continue to pay this, um, pay this card. And it's uh, we'll see show us the order summary, everything, and just click pay. Uh, I didn't uh, send, uh, I didn't save any uh, card information here, so I'll type in again. And then this is the the mouse. return and then click pay yeah this means i have uh successfully put pay this uh shopping card i will go back uh since i i have uh, processed two uh orders so i can uh go to my um burger sign uh navigator click the orders here so you can see we just made two orders here if you click them you can see the details uh, from the uh, from the list we just made these orders here so the um, the other we just make two orders here yeah. I click them and now we can go back to our uh, home screen uh, yeah basically this is the um, this is a simple uh, e-shopping card uh, I'm, I made for this demo uh, hope you like this uh, um, thank you for watching bye bye